Welcome back to another video. So I've actually been editing all of the footage that I have gathered throughout November and a lot of it is just sort of random footage of what I got up to throughout the month. I have a little bit of knitting content but I don't really talk about anything that I work on <laughs> um, except for some shop update stuff at the end of the video. So I just sort of wanted to put some context into this little vlog and sort of let you know what I got up to. Some of the footage is of a short trip to Columbus that I took over the weekend. Mostly spent time hanging out in a hotel room. <laughs> and a little bit of it takes place at a cozy cabin that my husband and I uh, rented as a getaway for ourselves <laughs> sort of before Thanksgiving. Uh, just to take a break and spend some time together before his work takes him away for a long time. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video and that you enjoy seeing a little snippet of my life. since I've sat down and chit-chatted with the camera. Um, I think it's been a few weeks. <sighs> I mean, the last time I really filmed stuff was the beginning of November, and now tomorrow is December. <laughs> so I hope you all are doing really well and you had a really great holiday. Um, mine was pretty good. We did actually have um, a decent Thanksgiving, and it was delicious and yummy, and it was very fun to celebrate. And now that work has sort of come to a close since it's the end of the season for working outside, I am back to like full swing working on my Etsy shop. So I'm actually working really hard on getting an update out tomorrow with some Christmassy goodies. There will be some digital downloads and some Christmas cards that I made many years back, but I still have a few in my stash, so if anyone is interested. And a lot of it will have free shipping so you don't have to stress about it and I would greatly appreciate if you support small business this year even just if you follow me on Instagram I sometimes share my fellow friends businesses or even my sister has a business so get out there support small businesses more to support us little Etsy shop creators there's also tons of incredible artists out there who make like really cool gift sets and lots of fun things that you can um, get your hands on and you know people will appreciate that.
product photography is the one thing that I hate the most about owning an online shop. Um, it's just like mind-numbingly frustrating because the pictures always look good when you take them and then once you put them onto the website you're always like this is wrong and you have to go back and you have to take them all over again. So fingers crossed this time they work out and they look great. So they are for these little printable gift tags that I made which I'm obsessed with these ones. I think they're adorable. Um, and then I have kind of simple cute ones that have snowflakes on them, um, which I'm not super crazy about, but some people might like them. So I'm gonna put them out there anyway. <laughs> up some schoolwork so it's just we just had our first like big winter snow and it's been absolutely beautiful so I've really been enjoying that um. I didn't get into very to, to much specifics with my knitting and so I wanted to share a little bit about one of the thanks, one of the bigger projects that I'm working on right now and that I'm very close to finishing and that is Magnolia by Camilla Vad which is in the Lean magazine um, issue number four so it's this beautiful um, like high neck sweater with this gorgeous lace detail on the end and also on the ends of the sleeves. This is so much fun to work on, <laughs> you guys. So um, fun story, which if you've been following along in my vlogs, you might have remembered. Um, this yarn is actually from Woolly Mammoth Fiber Co., who is a beautiful uh, natural dyer of yarns and fibers and she also tries to source her yarns and fibers um, as locally as possible and she lives in Ireland. Highly suggest you follow her on Instagram, sign up for her newsletters. <laughs> her stuff is really beautiful. But I purchased this probably three years ago now and I knit an entire sweater out of it and it was actually a sweater by Helga Isager. I'm pronouncing her name right, which I loved and I thought it was beautiful. But I just didn't really like the fit of the sweater and I never wore it. It was just a little too... The, the knitted fabric was just like too dense and heavy for the shape and style of the sweater. So it was just too bulky. Um, and so it just looked very ill-fitted and, and weird. So I tore it all out and my plan was to knit what the yarn was originally intended for, which was a no-frill sweater by petite knit or petite knitter I, I, I can never remember which one is which and then rather than purchase a new pattern I went through all of my pattern books and I found that this was the perfect fit so this is a blend of mohair and merino wool so you're holding two strands together and I think it is perfect for this sweater it is going to be so nice. I've already tried it on several times. I'm really excited to finish it off. Um, I really haven't had any issues as far as knitting it other than like some minor lace details that I kind of screwed up on but no one will ever notice. So very excited to have this off the needles and I just wanted to share some nitty goodness <laughs> in this vlog since I haven't really shared much knitwear in a while. Uh, Thank 
you so much for stopping by today and watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing what I got up to over the past month. Um, I really appreciate all the people that come to watch these videos. If you liked it, please like the video or comment down below. You are also more than welcome to subscribe. Um, I post videos about every two weeks, sometimes, get very lucky, and there's a video a week. <laughs> But until next year, uh, videos will probably be pretty scarce until I get back into my normal schedule. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.